Welcome everyone to The Magical Frequency. Please subscribe if you are into everything simulation because I am here to expand your simulation that you have created, that we have created. I'm here to plant seeds of awareness and to also break free from any conformities that we think that we need to adhere to, anything like that within society. So if you are a part of that, please subscribe to this channel because I will be deep diving into all of these theories and concepts regarding simulation and regarding many of the theories and concepts that I actually come up with on my own. And two of them being right now, and I'm not going to go too deep into this video. It's going to be one of my shorter ones. I will recreate a longer video with more visuals so we can understand them. But at the end of the day, I want to discuss phosphines and LSD and the connection with them. Up until this point, you have witnessed me on my channel. If you have been a follower discussing phosphines in depth, and now I have now started discussing acid LSD and what that can do to your brain to prove that you are actually living in a simulation that you are connected in electronically or whatever like through elect not I don't want to say electronically but through electricity through electrical pulses this is why we experience the phenomena of phosphines everybody can experience them I'm not going to get into how to do that I have that on some of my other videos but they align very similarly to the graphics and patterns that you end up hallucinating or seeing when you were on something like LSD or magic mushrooms. I believe is messing with the input when we're kind of coming into the simulation, what we are visually being able to view through our visual cortex in the 3D simulated environment that we have created for ourselves. This is how we are able to see everything, interpret it through our eyes, through our brains, through the electrical pulses that are sent back and forth to the simulation that allows our consciousness to basically come into our avatar and experience the 3D. And the, I've, I've said it before and I'll continue to say it again, we are here to experience whatever that means for you. Not everybody believes that it is a great experience. Some believe that it is wonderful. There are a infinite amount of opinions on what this experience is, whether it's a good or a bad and everything in between. But ultimately, I believe we have been sent here to be able to create, observe, experience, and have lots of fun in the 3D. Or what I said before, negative quote unquote instances that we all go through in the 3D, but we can maneuver that in the simulation very easily once you figure out that we are actually living in a simulation. Everything becomes easier to digest and comprehend Things don't feel so serious anymore to me. Playing life is a video game. They are serious insofar as they're about my health. I don't want to die prematurely, but I understand that entropy and death is a part of that cycle and that we will be coming back over and over again to infinitely create these experiences for ourselves. This is the cycle and point of life. It's to ever expand. It's to ever evolve. That's why consciousness is always evolving. That's why animals are always evolving. That's why everything that you see before you is in constant either evolution or entropy. So if you are not going to continue to evolve, you are going to experience entropy and move right back into the system, which I do personally believe that regurgitates itself over and over again in different forms to be able to give God ultimate consciousness the ability to continue to experience itself in whatever capacity we continue to create for it. And it will over and over again continue to show us those expanded realities, 
things, whatever we want to experience because this is why the simulation was created. Now, we are here to all wake ourselves up. I'm here to wake you up. You have all been here to wake me up. And that's why all of these spiritual texts are here, like the Kabbalion, the Bible. Those are all just people's ways of interpreting what was going on for them at the time, given their language, given what they understood, given what level of consciousness that they all were at. But technically, we are all our own gods. You are your own whoever you worship. You are the same as that individual, entity, persona. These are all just programs in the simulation. This is not, again, to insult anybody's religion, but religions are all two programs as they are interpretations of human perception of what is happening in this reality and how we are supposed to maneuver through it. And in my opinion, these are all quote unquote blueprints that people are creating over and over again in different modalities. So you need to take all of it in for yourself, understand what these things mean for you in the simulation, knowing that phosphines are what is showing you the building blocks of what behind is being plugged in. And this is why when you do take substances that alter your perception you are messing kind of with that electrical impulse area in your brain that is then able to show you whatever you actually want to see instantaneously in the 3d and if you watch my lsd video it easily and clearly describes how I was instantaneously able to imagine something in my mind and have it show up in the screen of life within seconds. Like as soon as I thought of it, it showed up in front of me, whatever it was that I was thinking about. I was able to literally manipulate my environment to show physical material in front of my eyes and experience things in front of my eyes. So I know for free that there's altered realities, states, perceptions, things that people are not able to do, see, hear, feel, touch on a daily basis with the normal quote unquote five senses. So the sixth sense and we can all access these altered states. But some of us, you know, you have to be careful with this because it can be extremely frightening and scary and tumultuous. And if you don't know what you're doing, kind of go crazy. There have been p plenty of people that do go crazy because this is mind blowing information that once you start to understand it, you may lose grips with reality momentarily or on a longer term basis. And that can create downward spirals in people's lives. That's why you have to take this work very carefully. You have to go into it very seriously. You have to understand that if you do choose to walk down these avenues, that there are things out here that you are able to experience that could be completely terrifying. That's just the reality because this simulation can create whatever you want. There is no good, there is no bad. There just is experience to be created. So if it is something that you're coming up with in your imagination that is terrifying, you could have it play out on the screen in the simulation. We don't wanna float around in the eternal ethers all the time. Not in my opinion, I wouldn't want to. I would definitely want to come and experience different earth realms. And I'm not even saying that it would be this earth realm. It would be fun if there was other earth realms. It would be cool if you could come back and be a queen or that just lives on the beach their entire life. You could literally come back and experience different modalities of life. And that's what I believe this is all for. So we aren't just one big ball of like love or whatever just floating in the ethers when people have near-death experiences i feel like that's number one that they talk about is being like one with their god or whatever the light or their heart forever eternal like love or what would be the feeling of at peace 
this eternity of this, but that I'm assuming could get old and you would want to come down and have different experiences in different ways in an infinite amount of ways. And that's why there is so many animals and so many people that just keep being born over and over and over cyclically, repetitiously, because it is life completing itself. And we are a part of it. We have created it. This is your simulation. This is my simulation. And when we get to look at life through that lens, it takes away a lot of fears. It takes away a lot of perceptions that we once had about life. And if we can deep dive on these things like phosphines, like LSD and the connection between phosphines, LSD, and what that really means, that would be even more eye-opening items, I think, for the scientific community to go deeper into our consciousness and how we actually do play a huge role in affecting what's going on around us. If I imagine something, I can make it materialize in so many different ways and forms. It just all depends. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video and I know you will all continue to manifest magic and resonate on your highest frequency. Bye guys.